Hey guys, it's Gamers Nerds again, the the owner of Gamer Nerds by the way. Um today I'm gonna be making a tutorial tutorial for one of my staff members, but I also make it on YouTube for you guys. Um well the tutorial is about how to make customs. You go to this link right here, it's other people's customs. Now this is to make your own though. So you could just pick what you want, like um, make sure you sign in. You can go right here. It says search form. Let's say we want a smoke. Search smoke. It come with all this stuff. We'll get rainbow smoke. All right, here's the rainbow smoke. We're gonna change just a little bit. Customize it to ourselves. All you need right now, well, for this, all you need really is the SWF file. Um, I will give be giving you the programs to open and stuff, so don't worry about that. Um, you can exit that out if you like. I'm just gonna exit this out. Okay. Now all we need is the SWF file, like I said. Keep it as his name right now, we will be renaming it later. Now there's a program that I'll be giving you. Um, where are you? It, your folder is going to look just like this. Um, there's a program that I'm going to give you. And it's going to be inside of here and it's called this SWF decomplier okay then you could set it to the um, properties on this on all the SWF files if you like it takes a couple of seconds to open up now all you're gonna need is the images check it right here then you export resources pick where you want to put it I'm gonna put it on the desktop then I'll open my folder up now this is where paint.net comes in handy we use paint.net because it's way better you can transparent and stuff now I'm gonna cover them all and open hopefully they all open yes they all opened I think Nope, just one. Okay. We'll mess with the smoke later. Let's get the actual item itself. Well, actually, I'm going to keep that black. You can cu customize this if you like to any color you want. I'm just going to change this. Uh, maybe that too. So. Hmm. We'll get this smoke too, for now. No, never mind. They won't all open. Well, let's just do the body right now. You can leave the shadows alone. They'll be the same as always. Unless, sh yeah, just leave them alone if you don't want to mess up anything. Or accidentally do something. If you know what you're doing and you're getting used to everything, go ahead and change it. Well, I'm going to change this to blue and blue. And I will be adding this too, I guess. Alright, get use the pencil for this part. Or you can use the wand. I want light blue for right now. For all this black. Ooh, see, that's not how I wanted it. So I'm going to press undo. Undo. Okay. We'll do all this then instead. No.
it's just going to be the uh, one, two, you can do this, press control down, keep clicking, if you do that just press Z instead of a click and it'll undo it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, keep all this normal if you want it to be clear, like that color clear, or you could make it a different light color. Make sure it looks like glass. Actually, I'm gonna keep that part right there black. So undo that. Okay, that's perfect. Let's see. Um, yep, perfect. Let's make this back to black. back to blue <laughs> okay so we got them and them them Let's change these blue now okay that's how I want that now I'm gonna get all these other colors and I'm going to change it to a different color not just blue like I wanted it doesn't look really that right with this so I'll make it two different colors some some customs do take quite quite a long time so if you want to make it easier you get a full image of the of the item and you just like select certain parts and paste it on there and make sure you erase the parts that's not supposed to be there if you guys know what I'm talking about but like um I don't know I might have some tutorial about that sooner or later don't know yet Actually, yeah, blue does look kind of nice on here. Let's try it right here. Yeah, it does look nice. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, this is how you make the catalog image. This is the catalog image. It's 20 by 30. So you go to this one if you want this to be the catalog image. You size it and go to 20 by 30. You'll resize it. You just select it. Copy it. Paste it here. And there that's done. And I, I just made that the catalog image so. Then you go back to this one and keep undoing it until it's back to the regular. Save it. Now you're done with that. You can exit them out if you're if you know you're done with it. This part goes to the catalog image. So whenever you resize this to that one, that would be for the catalog. So let's edit this one. Um should I even edit this? Maybe. Let's see. Would red look good? I got a good idea.
All right, after you're, you're done with it, I want it like that. I know there's not red on the other one, but I want to see how it looks. I'm just this is gonna be a custom. I might put it in a normal catalog for other people. Now it should be normal. All right, it'll look better on the game, guys. So if you think your design looks a little ugly, just wait until you get in the game to see if it's ugly or not. Fourteen, sixteen. You have to do this to all of them. This is um easy tutorial, basically. So you just save it. It would look foggy on the paint, by the way, guys, so you don't have to worry about that too, so 17, 19. All right, now I have the smoke itself, well, the body itself for the smoke machine all done now it's time to get the actual smoke itself done now we got to compare these two so it's pretty hard somewhat let's see if they all open nope Let's get the big ones done then. I'm just going to make them all blue. I know I'm doing it a little too flat, like just one color, but it's faster and easier for you guys just to see how to do it. Here, I'm going to do this and I'll pause the video real quick to do them. All right, now I got them all done. So I'm just gonna save them. You could just exit out, click save, and they'll all save. You have to keep clicking OK on these that pop up. Now I'm not gonna edit all the smoke. I think I got most of it. Um, probably some of them stay the same color as they used to be, but shouldn't so. not worry about that it's just a tutorial so it doesn't matter okay well now after you're done doing that let me exit no I don't need that after you're done doing that you go to the images you click on each one you edit click on that little folder right there then you have to Go to the root where your images are that you put these at. Like on my desktop, I went and then you go into the folder of the name of the SWF folder. Then you pick the image number that it says this one's image 2. So you click image 2. You right click on the next one. You keep doing it until you get them all done. I'll pause the video so it doesn't take up more time. Alright, I got them all done. Now after you're done, now all you gotta do is um, just save. You click save. I know it won't be the same yet until now after you've done saving.
make sure that they're your colors and everything you put in there. Alright, after you know that it's all done, you can just exit that out. Now you have your SWF file done without the, but you didn't rename it yet. So you have to count these letters right here. And I see 10, 11, so that's 11. I just name it that, that's 11 numbers. You can name it whatever you want, just make sure it's 11 all together, numbers and letters if you want. Now after you have your name of what you renamed it and the old name, drag into H, H, H and D, H time D, whatever you guys want to call it. Well you go to search and replace, and you replace number, and then you um, Rainbow Chad, is that it? Let's hope it is. Yeah, you you type in that. You have to make sure it's the same thing. Eleven numbers and eleven all together numbers or letters, whatever you want it to be. You have to make sure it's eleven or however much the SWF file that you're editing is. So then you save it. Then you can exit it out. You could delete this. Now you could delete the pictures unless you want to keep them <coughs> for like another custom that you can edit just like that one. Well now we're going to edit the SWF um, SQL. This is what you're going to be adding to your, oh crap, keep on opening the wrong thing. This is what you're going to be ed adding to your database or your friend's database or in your friend data I'll show you guys well I, I won't be showing you guys what that is but you guys should already know what that is well if you're going to give your friends the your custom you might want to give them this too I'll have the SQL text in the download with it everything else so. alright now you just copy the name from right here open up the SWF file or text whatever you want to call it replace everything that says name with the name of your SWF file now this name right here you can change it to something else just say blue smoke I'm going to put blue smoke oh I'm not going to copy that I'll put blue smoke down here too this is what's going to show whenever the item's placed and somebody clicks on it. I'm going to put made by Nate. Um, up here I have it to where it's already stackable and everything so you guys don't have to worry about that. Random six number. ID. Let me make sure all these names are done. Yeah, ID one. I'm going to do first. I'm going to make it four nines, no, five nines, and three random numbers because it's probably not used in my thing yet. So I'm going to go to edit, replace ID1 with my ID1 code that I just put in that one. Now all the ID1s are done. Let's put some random. Now it looks like, looks like I used that before. Let's put that ID one there but with a one and replace the ID three up here too. And then you can save it. There you guys go. You got your custom fully made and ready to go. Just make sure you did that SQL right or just give your friend your SWF file if he knows, knows how to do it. Or you can just look up another tutorial. But yeah guys. Thanks for watching, and sorry the video was so long, it's just, I'm a slow teacher, I guess. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys, bye.